Shaking Sisters, Barbara Chapman, Hondo, Texas. We are in the November Quiet Time Devotionals that have been emailed out. And we are in the book of Hebrews. And uh, we're probably going to go into Hebrews in our December devotionals too. So let's get started. This is video number four or five. I'm not sure which one. It'll be on the YouTube and it'll tell you which one it is. But uh, the YouTube is www.youtube.com backslash user backslash 007 baths. All the videos are out there. Uh, pass the word on and uh, be a blessing. And let's wait till the alarm clock goes off here. My grandfather clock. You hear it in all my stuff, okay? All right, we are in Hebrews 8, 1 through 13. That's Hebrews 8, 1 through 13. And the word for today was new covenant. Jesus is the perfect sacrifice, which equals eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. The words are throne, majesty, sacrifice, covenant, confess, warned, right, and remember. Okay, Jesus is the high priest, and he sits at the right side of God's throne in all the majesty of heaven. Before Jesus came and died for us on the cross, men were called as high priests, but they were only men and born in sin as we all are, okay? They had to offer sacrifices for their sins and the people. Men and women are called today to serve Jesus. Thank God we don't live under the old covenant and ways before Jesus. We don't have to do works and penance or walk under a heavy load of condemnation. Our loads and baggage is removed when we confess our sins to Jesus and receive Him into our hearts. One time, divine appointment, new life begins. Thankful. All right? Moses was warned when he was about to build the tabernacle, see to it that you make everything according to the pattern shown on the mountain. There was no room for error or sin. No grace. Thank God for Jesus and mercy shown to us today. Sin is wrong and it grieves the Holy Spirit, but we have access to go straight to Jesus, our mediator to God. The new covenant, Jesus. The new covenant is Jesus. This is the new covenant I will make with the house of Israel. I will put my laws in their minds and write them on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will man teach his neighbor or man his brother saying, Know the Lord, because they will know me from the least to the greatest. For I will forgive their wickedness and remember their sins no more. No need to add anything to this last verse. It says it all. Receive Jesus. Amen. All right, now we're in Hebrews 9, 1 through 15. That's Hebrews 9, 1 through 15. And the word for today is freedom. Yay, freedom, 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 freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, there's going to be, it looks like this is a little lengthy. Uh, it's, power, it's PowerPoint 1 of 3 for Hebrews 9, 1 through 15. And the words are regulations bondage which we are not under rules which are necessary freedom we have freedom veil mediator sacrifices the holy place holy spirit worship we want to worship you father enter and we're talking about the new covenant all right this chapter describes the tabernacle and how the priests offered sacrifices yearly for the sins of himself and the people, the old covenant. Thankful for Jesus and the new covenant, ladies. Okay, the first covenant had regulations, regulations for worship. I'm reading this very first verse, and the word regulation is speaking to me loudly this morning. Okay, thankful for freedom. As I type these devotions, I see the word thankful all the time. I don't mean to be so repetitious, but I'm glad my heart is thankful, and I pray I never stop feeling that way. To worship God as we want to, in our hearts, in our home, our family, our church services, no set rules and regulations. There's freedom, freedom, no bondage for me, Yahoo. Okay, okay, we don't have to be religious or act a certain way. Just listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit and He sets inside of our hearts what's right and warns us when something's wrong. Is that awesome or what, ladies? That relieves us from all the man-made do's and don'ts. 
what freedom no bondage no rituals to perform no chains hanging on us or weighing us down freedom 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 God is not behind a curtain he's not behind a curtain or in a room that we can't enter his word says to come straight to the throne of grace with confidence with confidence okay we don't have to go through a man and the only person between us and God is Jesus our mediator in verse 6 it says when everything in the tabernacle has been arranged like it was supposed to be the priests entered regularly regularly into the outer room to carry on their ministry but only the high priest entered into the inner room and that only once a year and never never without blood which he offered for himself and the sins the people had committed in ignorance okay <clears throat> excuse me the Holy Spirit was showing by this that the way into the most holy place had not yet been disclosed as long as the first tabernacle was still standing this is an illustration of the present time indicating that the gifts and sacrifices being offered were not able to clear the conscience of the worshiper it was external regulations and in verse 7 only only the priests entered the inner room and it was only once a year with blood for the sins okay we can enter into the room any time we want now we don't have to bring any sacrifices or penance either you talk about freedom ladies awesome I mean that is Jesus that's his grace that's our Heavenly Father just thankful thankful okay those regulations those laws those commands those old covenants is gone it's gone gone and done away with isn't it great that we live today we can really live and have eternal life in Jesus our new covenant okay there's no curtains there's no veils there's no sacrifices Jesus is the perfect the perfect blood sacrifice no separation we can go straight to our Heavenly Father and his word says come boldly to the throne of grace verse four, verse 14 the blood of Christ who through the Spirit offered himself unblemished to God to cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death so that we may serve a living God for this reason Christ is the mediator of a new covenant Jesus died as a ransom to set us free from the sins committed under the first covenant okay so after all that I got excited about it so I had one PowerPoint one page just for a prayer so I'll go ahead and share the prayer with you this morning and we're talking about freedom God gives us freedom in Jesus and we're in Hebrews 9 1 through 15 and this is my prayer good morning father this is a real eye-opener to me this morning I really got excited about this word today I've read this I'm sure several times and this morning when I sat down to read it was one of those mornings I was really having to push myself to get into reading as I read I wondered if I was gonna get anything out of this today and I didn't think this chapter was what I would think of as encouraging right off the bat not like when I was in Thessalonians and Titus this book has a lot of Old Testament teaching and you know that I prefer New Testament not a history buff and this was encouraging yes it was it says I can come straight to you right now freedom to speak with you personally right now no walls no rules nor sacrifices no works nothing just me and you I just want to thank you father for Jesus thank you for the joy and revelation freedom that I received this morning thank you for allowing me to share your words with others thankful in service for you Jesus amen okay ladies now we're in Hebrews 9 16 through 28 Hebrews 9 16 through 28 and the word that I had today was why so much blood why so much blood 